What's up? What's good? Matt Clark here at The New Matt Clark. I told you I was going to do some videos speaking on prison news and other issues, etc. That's exactly what this video is. A huge problem, in my opinion, in our system. Stay tuned for a great video at The New Matt Clark. What's up? What's good? Matt Clark here at The New Matt Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Monday? I'm doing great. My girl's great. My family's great. Work is great. Everything is great. I hope each and every one of you are great. If you're not great, I hope you're at least trying. Keep moving. Keep the progress going and stay strong. I want to say thank you to each one of my 1,510 subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. You guys keep me motivated and you guys hold me accountable. So thank you very much. If you could please hit that like button, if you could please hit that bell notification button after you hit that subscribe button, and if you could share with somebody on social media, that'd be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you would like to donate, help, and support the channel. So, I told you guys in the past that I was going to start looking through prison news, Canadian prison news, etc., and doing videos about that. So that's exactly what I did. I was going through some stuff today, and it really made me think about some things. Me personally. I am a survivor of sexual assault, obviously, I've talked about it in the past, and I am also a person whose uh, assaulter was acquitted by our pathetic Canadian system when it comes to sex offenders. So I was reading through uh, Google today and I heard a story, okay, I read a story about Barry McRory. This is a disgraced priest. Okay, this man was convicted of sexual assault in 1993 where he sexually assaulted a 17-year-old boy. He was given probation and a conditional sentence, okay? Fast forward now, he's charged with however many counts of sexual assault and he was sentenced, he was found guilty at trial and even though he was found guilty at trial, he was allowed to stay on bail as a convicted sex offender until sentencing. And guess what happened? Surprise, surprise, Mr. McRory disappears. Now this is a huge issue for me in this system. It's like you could get charged with a break and enter. You could get charged with possession of a schedule three substance narcotic. You could get charged with something like theft and do serious time, yet, these guys who are getting charged with multiple counts of sexual assault are getting out of prison. I don't understand it. It makes no sense to me. How is this guy even still out? How did this guy even get bail in the first place after being convicted of sexual assault once in the past? I've only ever been charged with nonviolent offenses, break and enters, property offenses, drug charges, uh, high speed chase, etc. I can't get bail to save my life. The only time I've ever gotten bail is when I was clearly, obviously innocent. And they had to give me bail because I had a goofy co-accused who was, you know, snaking me hard. Anyways, that's not the point. How is this guy on the street? This is a major problem in our system. The system needs to be tougher on these sex offenders. And there needs to be some kind of a, a, a three strike, you're out, two strike, one strike. I don't care what it is, but you need to figure it out and you need to protect the people in this country from these predators. And that is, as I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not even, I'm not even biting my tongue at all. That is a huge problem. And then I was reading another story, okay? What was the guy's name? Anyway, I can't remember the guy's name, but this is the guy that was killed in Joyceville in December. He was beaten to death, okay? He was a sexual predator. He got beaten to death, and that's terrible. That's something that I don't think should have happened to anybody, and not because I feel bad for him, because I don't. You make your bed. The reality is a lot of people who are in prison have been through those kind of traumas, right? They have. How many people suffer with addiction because of being sexually assaulted, beaten, all these kind of abuse while you're younger, and etc., right? Uh, domination kind of charges, 
victimizing charges, right? And, and don't get me wrong, all criminal charges are victimizing, but I'm talking about predatorial charges, okay? That aren't even okay in prison, like sexual assault, sexual assault of a minor, etc. You tell me, how is this sexual predator in general population? Can somebody answer that for me? I understand that this system is integrated, but that is a huge mistake. And I'm telling you, as a man, to anybody who's doing time and is not even planning on changing, okay? When you go into these jails, into these prisons, and you are integrated with these sex offenders, do not do their dirty work for them. Why would they, think about it, why would they put these known sex offenders in general population in the day of Google? When you can literally just type somebody's name in and all of their S sexual assault charges will just pop up online. I know for a fact, when I was in Joyceville, we used to do it all the time before we'd run guys off the block. You know what I'm saying? But you can't do their work for it. It's awfully convenient, right? that they put the two people that they hate the most together, knowing that there's gonna be violence by putting these two together. Do not do their dirty work for them. I'm telling you right now, this kid is looking at a murder charge when he should have never been around this person in the first place. Who knows what kind of traumas were triggered? Who knows what kind of uh, bullying and uh, 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 influencing is going on to force this kind of a situation and put him into this precarious position. Is that fair for him? Should he ever have been in that situation in the first place? I don't think he should. And I think that is the huge failure in the Canadian system in regards to sex offenders and chomos. They're given some pass like it's a mental health issue. Okay? And maybe in some cases it is. But I know 100% being the victim of somebody and seeing what it looks like in that person's eyes that he knew 100% what he was doing. And I'm tired. I'm tired of reading in the news that these people are given slaps on the wrist by our government who's supposed to be protecting the children and the women of our society. Okay? Like, at the end of the day, if a man gets raped, he has the ability to defend that. He's a man. He always has the ability to do something if he chooses. There will be consequences, but at least he has that choice. But as a child or as a woman, say a big man takes advantage of you, now what choice do you have and how can you protect yourself in that situation? If your own government and like, I'm not even going to blame the police in this case. Because I, I think the police would love to arrest these people and get them off the street. The problem is our courts. Stop giving these creeps bail. Make them do their time. Separate them from the rest of population. It is not fair for either side. And I am in no means defending a child molester. But I do not think it's fair for the other inmates to be put in the situation where they may feel like they have to do something or they're pushed into a situation to have to do something. People shouldn't be dying in prison. And I know it's Canada and it doesn't happen all that much, but it does happen and it shouldn't. The situation shouldn't be so hostile and tense that people want to murder each other. There should be more rehabilitation, trades, more schooling, more bursaries so people can gain some knowledge and come out with some wisdom and actually have the ability to make changes in their lives. It's crazy to me, man. It's like a fight club set up by the government. Throw these predators in here and let these animals deal with them. And then we'll just take advantage of that situation and keep cooking them with time every time they act on it. It's crazy, man. It's a hamster wheel cycle. Do not fall into it. Bounce them off the range. That's what you do. You scare them. You threaten them. Whatever. But you do not put in their work. You do not put your hands on them inside the prison. Because why? That's what they want you to do. And in my opinion, that's exactly what they want you to do. I don't know what you think. 
I don't know what anybody thinks. Maybe a lot of people that watch these videos believe that these people deserve a second, third, fourth, fifth, 18th, 1500 chance. Think about Gordon Stuckless. Okay, this is a guy that was molesting kids at Maple Leaf Gardens for years before they ever did anything. How many times do sex offenders get out and reoffend and reoffend and reoffend? You can't reprogram what sails your ship. What you're attracted to is what you're attracted to. And if you're wired wrong in that way, where you're attracted to kids or to rape or to whatever kind of uh, predatorial assault that it is that you like, then obviously you're not safe and never will be. And that's my opinion. You're free to leave a comment if you believe differently. Uh, anybody who has any video ideas, you can leave a comment on this too if you like my video. And it's something that I'm very serious about. I hate, I hate the way our system handles this. I feel like there should be a separate prison and they should be hammered. Worse than anybody. You prey on children, you get done. It is what it is. There's people doing uh, 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 DO sentences, which in Canada is indefinite for assault when a lot of these multiple time child of molesting offenders are walking free. It's disgusting to me. Anyways, uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And please hit that subscribe and that bell notification button. And if you could share with somebody on social media, that's what we gotta do. This is one part of our prison system that needs to be reformed no matter what. That's my opinion. Uh, anyways, hope you like the video. I'll be coming out with one in the next couple of days. Thank you for watching the new Mac Club.